More than 40 million Americans have a disability, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. Moreover, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, only 19.1% of those suffering from disabilities were employed. These staggering numbers demonstrate the large employment gap between the number of people with disability and those without. Recent trends indicate that the workforce is bound to change drastically with the rise in automation and artificial intelligence, ushering in a new age of the future of work. Displacement of jobs due to automation will cause people without disabilities to have an increased difficulty transitioning to future jobs. This effect will have an even larger impact on the employment of disabled persons in the global workforce. Thus, there must be novel approaches taken to increase the participation of disabled individuals in the workplace. As part of the workplace transition, the future of work is expected to increase the use of telepresence robots in a wide variety of industries and applications. However, current methods do not provide an efficient method for control of these robots by motor-impaired individuals. To fill this gap, we propose the development of a new modality for robotic telepresence, combining technologies from virtual reality, robotics, and neuroscience into one complete system for remote robotic telepresence control. This will involve creating a new type of helmet that combines VR, surround sound headphones, and a brain-computer interface into one device that can be worn with comfort by a wide variety of users. The remainder of this video will describe the methodology for creating the helmet, the electrical hardware, and software used for remote tel robotic telepresence control through the BCI helmet and VR headset. The neural signals studied in this project are called Steady State Visually Evoked Potentials, SSVEP, which are signals generated from the brain's natural response to visual stimulus at various frequencies. SSVEP can be used to identify an operator's intent by altering target frequencies and analyzing the electrode data. An interface with buttons at various frequencies is presented to the operator within the VR headset. Based on the classification results, the correct commands can be sent to the robot directly. Here we show how the BCI signals obtained by the headset can be translated into commands for the robot. In the video, we see the signal acquisition from the eight electrodes picking up electrical signals from neurons firing in the brain. Brain waves correspond to different states of thoughts and experiences. Hence, they must be filtered using a bandpass filter into frequency groups, as seen in the image on the right. These five frequency groups presented are commonly used to identify the state of the brain and filtering can be used to extract the frequency range we are interested in. To extract important features from the signal, the power spectral density was evaluated. This feature will help our classifier to identify patterns in brain waves by associating potentials at different frequencies across multiple electrode channels. The classifier is trained on previously obtained calibration data. We can feed features from this training data into a classifier that learns to associate certain features with certain outputs. This implementation of machine learning allows our interface to be trained to work with many different individual people. The classifier, feature extraction, and pre-processing methods were all implemented using Python. So we bring to you the BCI Telepresence Helmet, a smart helmet that allows an operator to feel as if they are present in a remote location. The helmet combines an interior BCI headset with a virtual reality interface and digital processing board, all integrated into an immersive, wearable device. The system diagram provides an overview of the software architecture behind this system. The virtual reality environment in Unity serves as the central command center for the system. Unity communicates important data with Poto, the real-time control system of the robot, through a wireless network. Similarly, the BCI helmet is sending signals from electrodes to Unity for processing and classification. The design printed circuit board is based on the open source design of the OpenBCI Cyton and Daisy boards. While the OpenBCI implementation requires two separate boards and costs over $1,000, our design simplifies the board and firmware to fit into one package costing only $500. The processing board is designed to support 16 electrode channels, each with 24-bit resolution. The board uses a 32-bit PIC microcontroller for data processing and contains two specialized analog-to-digital converters for EEG signals. Our results demonstrate the immersive abilities of the operator to feel and interact remotely, and the integration of BCI in the VR headset increases the accessibility and performance of the telepresence system for accomplishing many different tasks. With this helmet, new possibilities are open for future jobs in construction, healthcare, and more. 
Furthermore, the BCI Telepresence Helmet opens a new future for robotic control that can be implemented in industry and studied in research labs across the world. The BCI Telepresence Helmet is not just a smart helmet, but a helmet that makes us smarter.